But guys, before we start, I just gotta say, nice. 2021 has been quite a hectic year for gacha games. We've had a lot of great releases such as Alchemy Stars, Blue Archive, Slime Isekai, uh, we've got Girls Cafe Gun, Punishing Grey Raven, Konosuba, Nier, uh, Revive Witch. And I do know that I am missing a lot more, but like you guys get the point. And if you have been around for a while, I can say that I have tried most of them. I must admit I have not got into most of them in depth. However, we are now in November. I don't think that there are any more major releases coming. And so with that, I wanted to start discussing what is your favorite gacha of 2021 and as for my pick Surprise it's Alchemy Stars. And to everybody watching this video, please let it be known that I severely, severely hate this game as much as I love it. Hi, welcome back to my channel and kind of an Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about why I think Alchemy Stars is the gacha game of 2021. In this video, I want to talk about all of the reasons why I think this game is so fantastic and I might touch on as to why I hate this game so much. But regardless, in this video, I want to talk about the art, the storyline, like all of the music, the atmosphere. I want to talk about the gameplay, the different systems, the base, everything that there is that makes this game quite fantastic. And so to kick things off, for you Alchemy Stars players, we have a big Giga Chad code today. And that code is Lumopolis1202. And so I'm gonna keep it short. I will show you guys exactly what's in it. Look at that. Oh my god, that is beautiful. All right, and so with that being said, oh man, where, where do I start with all of this, huh? And so before we go anywhere else, I do want to say, A, I'm not sponsored by Alchemy Stars or Tour Dog, but uh, you know, Tour Dog, if you're watching, you already know what's up. Hit me up, hit my DMs. And so to kick things off, why don't we talk about the combat first? If you are new to Alchemy Stars, essentially I am painting the entire floor red. I can walk on the red tiles. Actually, I can walk on any tiles. And depending on the tiles that I walk on, I am able to do damage. That is how combat works. And so guys, this is the first thing I do want to talk about to boast about for this game because this battle system, it is most certainly one of a kind. There are not many games on the market right now at all that that are innovating and this it's just really good to see like an up-and-coming company they're actually bringing something new to the market and they're uh, they're killing it and so whilst i respect that not everybody is really into this like tile running around and like hitting people so as you can see that is the combat if nothing else it is innovative on top of that you guys just saw me get hit by a poison dart there's like all these traps around here this company this game is actually full of these innovations and i don't want to like keep repeating that word over and over but in an industry the gadget industry where everything seems to be like reskinned of other things it is just really really refreshing to see this and so to just like finish off the innovation point i just want to say that like every single event has been completely different some of them have been like purely story driven some of them were inspired by other games so like contingency contract and in this one we're even doing like kind of like a pvp thing which is really freaking cool like guys look at this and for you guys who aren't familiar with the game this is my team on this side over here and then on the other side is the enemy team this is the first time that we've actually seen something like this. Nobody ever really knew if it was possible to PvP with this like kind of battle system, but they, they're showing that we can at least verse AIs and there could very well one day be PvP. Now, as for whether we actually won it or not, that's a completely different question, but like they are just so freaking creative. And so just to really drive home the point, just remember in the last round that I showed you, we were fighting monsters. Up until this point in the game, we were fighting monsters exclusively. But in this most recent event, we're now suddenly fighting another full team of Aurorians, which is utterly insane. And so yeah, I just really, really want to praise their creativity, their innovation, and the freshness that they are bringing to the industry. Alright guys, and so the next thing I want to talk about is like the characters, the vibe, the music, like all of the atmosphere and so i just wanted to run through a couple of these characters like they are just so freaking nice right and it's not like they're all just like waifus in bikinis and stuff like i mean okay that was a really really bad example but you can see that like every single character has been like so well designed and there is just such like a massive variety of different characters. like you've seen how many male characters already right and these are just the ones that i actually upgraded there are probably people who use male only characters and it is it is most certainly very viable and so yeah that's like just it's so great to see other games actually keep doing this right because like Ark Knights was one of the first to actually kind of I don't want to say pioneer it but they really showed that you can 
can sell characters even if they are not like fully in their underwear. Kind of like that, right? That's kind of the point that I was trying to make. Like, look at all of this. Like, it's so tasteful. And every single character is actually live 2D. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to the very, very lowest point of my box. And you can see that all of these three stars, they are all live 2D. There is just a lot of love and care that has gone into these character designs. And my guys, unfortunately, I can't show you guys the music because I don't want to risk getting my ass DMCA'd again. But yeah, like the story, the characters, like, like, look at that. The, the background map, the freaking background map is moving. We've got the freaking floating castle over here that is moving in the background. Like, and so I'm just trying to show you guys all of this because I really want to drive home the point that this game is like insanely, insanely polished. Like, look at this base system, my guys. Like, look at that. We've got this freaking hologram thing with all the characters sitting around. You can actually interact with them, like if you want to click them. And then they actually interact with the environment. Like, look at this guy in the back. He is reading a map or something. Wait, no, that's a suitcase. And then I've got another character character here looking at the bookshelf another one sitting looking directly at us into our souls like oh man but if I come down like usually there are actually characters that sit at the bar and if I come over here there are typically characters that like play games over here like look at this character over here she is freaking playing pool by herself and, and then there's another one over there she's actually like playing with the punching bag okay I don't know if that constitutes as playing but like <laughs> you get it right like the level of detail is insane and guys to like really really just top it off like this performance is just utterly insane. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 60 FPS on the video if you guys do watch it in 60 FPS. And not only that, I am also playing on the PC client. Yes, it was released for JP. It was meant for the JP people, but it works for us global people too. And how can I be mad about that? How can anybody be mad about that? And while we're here just on the base system, like I know it looks eerily similar to the Arknights base, but like they've taken all of the good things and have just built on it. Like we don't have to constantly be rotating hating out our characters because they ran out of stamina. Like my girl over here, she is working 24 seven. I am literally a slave driver and I love it. And so in regards to the systems, there is like an automatic play kind of feature for the grinding. So if I hop into a stage, you'll see I have this guy over here, which lets us consume two times the stamina for two times the drops. But not only that, I can click the auto battle button and it will auto battle and consume stamina as many times as I want it to. To me personally, like this is not the perfect solution, but this is most certainly quite close to it. It's the second best in my opinion. I think that the perfect solution is always skip tickets or sweeping, but like... <laughs> Just playing games like Arknights where they don't have this function and they just insist on you guys pressing that freaking repeat button over and over. Awesome, awesome quality of life. And so with all of that being said, let's get to one of probably the most important points in the game, which is summoning. And so for all of you who are not into Alchemy Stars or like are not familiar with it, this is kind of like your key top rarity banner. And so this is the character on the banner. Her name is Bethel. As you can see, water element, and she is a six star, the top rarity. And so as you can see, 2% base rate and then plus 0.0%. This 0.0% works exactly the same way as another game that we know, in which if you have not hit the top rarity character within 50 rolls, your pity rate, like it will just keep building. This is a, okay, it's a great system. And why I am starting to hesitate is because this system is what really makes me hate the game. I have a problem with this system. I have a very, very severe problem with it. And it's that this percentage, this chance is to hit any six star in which that six star will have a 50% chance of being the character that you want on the banner. And what this means is that every time you hit a six star or the top rarity unit, it is a coin flip. And I have lost that coin flip so many times over and over. I hit pity and then I get somebody else. And then I hit pity again and then I get somebody else. Statistically speaking, this is not a very common problem. It's just actually quite unfortunate that I keep on losing the 50-50 when I hit that top rarity character. It really is so frustrating. I and to be honest, and I think a lot of you Alchemy Stars watchers will realize, I have not been making Alchemy Stars videos for a while now. I think it's been about like two weeks since my last one. But having lost that coin flip over and over and over again, I just really did not want to play the game. It's frustrating, right? I'm sure all of you understand. It's frustrating when you pour so many of your resources into this freaking banner and there is just no safety net. Like somebody could spend $2,000 on this banner and still not get this character over here, Bethel. Yeah, it's tilted me. It's frustrated me. You you guys can see probably like the majority of my rolling in all of my Alchemy Stars videos. Like I'm literally not making this up. It is all documented on YouTube. And that my guys is why I just, 
I really hated this game. Like, look over at Genshin Impact. Even they have a safety net to stop people from, like, okay, I mean, like, a lot of people still spend thousands anyway, but but that's kind of, like, besides the point, right? Like, in Genshin, you can guarantee a character you want. In most games today, you can guarantee a character you want. It might take $100, it might take 1000 it might take 10000 but you can't in this game. And so I have repeatedly talked about this, but nobody's listening. Uh, so a lot of the time, it just feels like Tour Dog are just not listening to this point in particular. Don't get me wrong, Tour Dog definitely listens. They definitely listen to an extent. And as you can see, I did end up getting that character from that banner, Bethel. You can see her over here. But honestly, it actually took Bethel to get me out of the dumps to actually want to play this game. Like in the last two days, ever since pulling her, I've actually played the game more than I have in the last two months. And so yeah, like. Like, honestly guys, don't let this deter you from playing this game or like keep playing this game. It's just that I have had like very, very below average luck. I've hit pity almost every single freaking time. But if there was anything to criticize this game for, it is that. It is the lack of a pity system on their banners. But guys, despite this one minor or major to me, a minor major problem, Alchemy Stars is still certainly my pick for like what I think is the best gacha game of 2021. And so hopefully you guys who are playing Alchemy Stars have enjoyed this game as much as I have. Because again, from like a gameplay perspective, from like a character design, music design, everything perspective, everything including the gacha, just excluding the fact that there is no guaranteed pity for banner character, this game has been incredible. And in my opinion, in my honest, honest opinion, it is probably one of the most underrated games in the in the market right now. And so with that, I do want to pass on the question to you guys. How do you guys feel about Alchemy Stars? I know, I know definitely a lot of you did drop it and you guys found it boring. However, I do know that a lot of you are also like in the, probably the same boat as me. You guys are really enjoying everything about this game. And on top of that, I honestly want to ask you guys, which game do you think, which gacha game do you think is the gacha game of 2021? And so my guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much if you did like this video then please like the video and if you haven't already then please subscribe but otherwise as a beacon of hope called bethel which finally got me back into the game like really into the game said she said that all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye